Wizzy's Incredible Journey. This book is about Wizzy, a water drop who travels on a journey through some of the water cycle. The book was developed by the Queensland Government. Can you see the dam? Can you see the roof with a gutter and the drain pipe sending the water to the tank? Can you see the pump sending that water back into the house and probably used to fill the toilet tank called a cistern so it's ready for flushing? Can you see the pipe where a large hose can be attached? Firefighters can attach here if needed. High in the sky, there was a little white cloud. Let's follow the water. From the mountains, it flows down a river to a lake, then past the farms, towns and city, and eventually makes its way to the ocean. In the cloud, there were lots of itsy bitsy teeny weeny water drops, and one of them was named Wizzy. Hi, I'm Wizzy. Wizzy was very happy inside the cloud, where all the raindrops huddled together. Gradually, all the raindrops started getting bigger, and bigger, and bigger. The water drops inside the cloud got heavier, and heavier, and heavier. Can you see the colour of the cloud has got darker? The water drops became so heavy that they began to fall from the cloud down to the ground below. Kookaburra tells us we all need water. Thumpity, bumpity splat. Whee, laughed Wizzy. Then Wizzy tumbled down the hill, swam through the dam, chugged through the treatment plant, whooshed up into the tank, swirled through the underground pipes, and raced up the little pipes through the side of the house. Well, what a journey. If you went tumbling down the hill and you were made from water, I think that you'd get lots of dirt and leaves and other things from the paddock all mixed up with you. That's why we send the water through the treatment plant. We get out all the dirt and all the germs and then we send it on pipes all the way to your house. Wow. Where will Wizzy go next? And how does the water get into your house? And out of the tap. Quick, Dad, put the plug in. I just saw something come out of the tap, a little girl shrieked. Which room are the family in? What is Dad doing? He's not brushing his teeth. He is shaving. What is mum doing? She is in the shower and I think she is singing. I'm singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. Dad, Ben and Bella peered down into the basin. Who or what are you? whispered Ben. And why are you in our basin? I'm Wizzy the water drop, and just like every single drop of water on earth, I am very special. I'm so glad you put that plug in, Mr Brown. I have so many important jobs to help out with, explained Wizzy. Just imagine if you didn't have any water. Would Dad be able to go fishing? No, he needs water for that. Can Bella have a swim in the pool? No, she needs water for that. Could Ben have a drink? No, he needs water for that. We all need water. I really must be going. Do you think you could help me on my way? Don't just tip me down the sink, though. Could you please scoop me up and take me out to the garden? Asked Wizzy. Oh, I nearly forgot. My most important job is to teach you how to be wise with your water, so you'll always have enough. I think you'll like this little song. Water is so special, I care for every drop. To help me save, I sing this tune, and wasting always stops, so I turn off the tap. When I brush, use the half flush on the loo. When I shower, I make it short, and I recycle water too. Let's think about Wizzy's song. 
I turn off the tap when I brush. Can you turn off the tap while you brush your teeth? Yes, please. That will save half a bucket of water each time just from running down the drain. Use the half flush on the loo. Well, most of the time, you will do something yellow in the toilet. So please use the little button and save water. Only push the big button if you do something brown. Have a short shower. Ask your family to play your favourite song. That's probably about four minutes long. And that's when you should be finished your shower. And Wizzy said, recycle water too. Well, that means your family can use a bucket to collect the cold water when the shower is first turned on. This water can be used for something rather than being wasted down the drain. Look how much water I collected while I was having my shower, Mum said. Dad is putting Wizzy into the bucket of water. Where is Wizzy going to go now? Did you guess? Onto the garden, they carefully watered the ground with their recycled water. Goodbye, laughed Wizzy. Remember our special water song? Thanks for coming to our house. I can't wait to tell all my friends about you, Bella called back to Wizzy. Before you could say splish, splash, splush, Wizzy landed with a plop onto a tall blade of grass. Wizzy is being poured onto the ground. Where will Wizzy go next? It was so slippery on that blade of grass that Wizzy slid down to the ground and soaked into the soil. Can you see the water drop going past the ant tunnel, past the rocks, past the grub, maybe even past a dinosaur bone? It got darker and darker and darker as Wizzy sank deeper and deeper and deeper into the soil. Suddenly, the water drop felt a tug. What's happening? thought Wizzy. What do you think is tugging and pulling on the water drop? Well, can you believe it? A tree root had grabbed hold of Wizzy and with a big slurp was sucking the water drop into the tree. Slowly up, up, up went Wizzy, slowly up through the trunk of the tree, slowly out along the branch, into a leaf, then slowly out again. Wizzy could feel the warm sun pulling the water drop out through the leaf. Wow, thought Wizzy. That was incredible. Wizzy looked over at the tree. The tree smiled. Thank you, Wizzy, it said. I need the warmth of the sun and water drops like you to keep me growing and to keep my leaves nice and green and moist. Can you see the tree smiling at Wizzy? Do you see Wizzy on the leaf? I'm really glad I could help you, said Wizzy. But I am a water drop and now I have to be on my way so I can help out others. Of course, smiled the tree. The sun is already helping you on your way. And Possum is saying we all need water. Oh, look at Wizzy. Wizzy is evaporating. The water drop is changing into water vapour. Where will Wizzy go now? As the water drop got warmer, it also got lighter and lighter and lighter. Wizzy began to float up, up, up into the sky. Wizzy looked around and was glad to see lots of water drop friends rising into the sky as well. Hey, said Wizzy to the other water drops, I've just been on the most incredible journey. All the little water drops huddled together to hear about Wizzy's adventure. Wow, what an adventure, said one of the water drops. But just wait until you hear about mine. As more and more water drops got together to talk about their incredible journeys, do you know what happened? What happens when there are lots of water drops all gathering together in the sky? 
What do they make? They made a little white cloud. The water drops got bigger and bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier and heavier. Oh, wow, said Wizzy. Here we go again.